Welcome back to the Summer Signing Series for the Reading Royals. Mark Thompson here at Santander Arena, Reading, Pennsylvania, along with Head Coach, Director of Hockey Operations for the Reading Royals, Larry Corville. Coach, welcome back to the Summer Signing Series. Thank you very much. We've got our seventh signing announced today for the Royals for the 2014-15 season, a player who played in the league last year and had considerable success. Adam Huseman, another forward added for the team this year. Huseman, who had 21 goals for Las Vegas last year. Big summer signing for you, Coach. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Adam is a, is a kid I really haven't seen all that. I haven't seen at all, to be honest with you. Spent the last couple of year, uh, couple of seasons in Las Vegas. Uh, tried to recruit him on a, the Western League, where he was a 50 goal scorer. I believe he had over 100 points that uh, his, or his, uh, his last year as an overage there. And um, you know, when they became, you know, all the players in, when Vegas folded for this year, and and the uh, other players became free agents. My first call was to uh, his former coach and Ryan Mujina, who coached Hershey and who I worked with uh, quite a bit this past year. So, uh, and he loved him, and he was one of the kids that uh, he pointed out that we should go after as a free agent. Uh, there was probably two or three guys that he, key, you know, we keyed in on that played for Vegas. Unfortunately, we lost that on a couple. One I think is retiring. The other one signed in Ontario. Uh, but Adam was another key piece that he mentioned, and uh, I spoke to Adam um, quite a bit over the first uh, uh, month of the season or summer. And uh, fortunately for us, we were able to make a commitment from him, and, and we're very happy to have him. Of course, you may have had a bit of the inside track recruiting guys out of Las Vegas. Sean Wiles with the team right now. What does Wiles he say about Huseman? Well, he definitely thinks he'll be a very good player for us. Uh, you know, high character, works hard, very consistent, can play the middle, can play the left side. Uh, power play guy kills penalties. So, uh, also Sean was a big part of us probably signing him. You know, I've asked uh, I've asked Sean uh, that when we committed to Sean to give a call to Adam and and tell him about myself, tell him about the organization, uh, tell him about the city of Reading, and and see if he could help me recruit Adam. And uh, fortunately, he must have said enough good things for Adam to commit to us, and we're excited to have him. Of course, he may experience a bit of culture shock, Las Vegas to Reading, but I'm supposing that part of that culture shock is he wants to be in an area where he's going to be observed by American Hockey League teams, and we're surrounded by them here. I suppose he's another guy looking for a chance to play in the AHL. He sure is. Uh, he, that was an exact conversation that we had. He was tired of being, I'm not going to put Vegas down, but he wanted to win some hockey games. He wanted to be on a team that was going to be successful. He wanted to give himself an opportunity to get called up to the American League, and he felt like Reading was a perfect fit for him. And, uh, you know, basically I told him, was, you commit to us, play hard, play well, I'll do my best to try to get you that opportunity. But uh, in the end, it's really up to you. Uh, you play your best hockey and, and do well for us. Hopefully you'll get that opportunity. You talk about Adam coming out of the Western Hockey League. He's kind of got a little bit of a unique career there in the WHL in the sense that he was in six seasons in the WHL, all of them in one city, the Tri-City Americans. And just looking at the history there, he's obviously a good character guy because, number one, he uh, was uh, actually got the key to the city when he was uh, leaving the, the Tri-Cities there. And also they have named a uh, an award that's given out in the community for community service after Adam Huseman. It's called the Huseman Award. So obviously he made a big impact in his six years there in the Tri-Cities. Well, for sure. And, and uh, you know, we've talked about this several times about character and bringing character guys in. And he just, he's, he fits that for us. Uh, he has tremendous character for what I'm told. Every coach that I talk to, his junior coaches, talk to Ryan Mujino, like I told you before. And, uh, Mike Medill, of course. Uh, he, Adam was a kid that I tried to trade for all year last year. Uh, I'll be honest with you. And for, unfortunately for us, we couldn't make the deal happen. But uh, he's got tremendous character, and that's the kind of players you want in your team. And uh, he does a lot in the community, a lot in the, in the locker room for us, or for hopefully for us this year, and be a leadership guy in his third year. And, uh, and, and hopefully he does a great job for us. The numbers, particularly in that overage year, are pretty impressive. 50 goals. I think he had 116 points. And 70 some games there in in the WHL. You see, I don't care what league you're in. I mean, a lot of guys make fun of the Quebec League or whatever. Yeah. A guy scores 40. Or, you score 50 goals if it's in a men's league for crying out. You still got to put the puck in the net 50 times. Oh, for sure. I think the last 50 goal score we had was Olivia LaBelle that scored 50 in the Quebec Major Junior. So that's like we talk about. 
you know, I was an OHL guy, so when we get together with the Western League OHL Quebec guys, so we say 50 goals in the OHL is probably 20, uh, it's probably 100 <laughs> in the Quebec League and uh, 70 in the uh, Western League, right? Because we're all OHL guys and, we're, you know, the best players come from there. We always, we always <laughs> chirp each other, right? Well, I suppose that is part of it. Adam Huseman is the seventh player added to the Reading Royals roster for the 2014-15 season under an ECHL contract. He's joining Kyle Bodie, Ryan Crothers, Dominic Minardo, Kevin Walrod, Sean Wiles, and the defenseman Bryant Molly. Coach, as always, want to thank you for stopping by in the summer signing series here. I appreciate it, Mark. Thanks for having me. And thank you, fans, for watching.